Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. I'm so grateful for you all. Today we're going to learn how to make a triangle using the granny stitch and we're going to use this for a shawl. I'm not going to make a shawl in this video but I'm going to show you how to make that triangle. So let's go ahead and begin and make your slip knot. Now normally I would make a magic circle but for if I have any beginners in here, we're going to start with a chain. So what you want to do is you want to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to go into your first chain that you made with your hook. Put your hook into that stitch and pull up a loop and pull through both of those loops. And now you have your loop here. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and chain four. Now that chain counts as a double crochet uh, chain one. So now we're going to go into our circle that we made and we're going to make two double crochets. There's one. That's two. I meant to say three. Three double crochets. And there's three. Now you're going to chain two. Three, sorry. And go back into the stitch again with another three double crochets. Now with that chain three, we made a little gap there because we're going to go into that stitch with two clusters of granny squares. So now at the end, go ahead and chain one. Once you put those three double crochets into the end. And that's what it should look like. So at the end, you make three more double crochets and you chain one and then an additional double crochet to that. Now we're going to chain four and turn your work. And right in that space where you made that chain one, you're going to go right into that space with another three double crochets. Remember that chain counts as a double crochet plus one. Or chain one. So now that I have my three double crochets in there, go ahead and chain one. And go right into that center stitch, that center um, loop there with three double crochets. And then chain two. And then go back into that same stitch with another three double crochets. And this section here is the point of your um, shawl. So that this would be the part that would hang at the bottom. I don't really like to make that too pointy, so I only chained two. Now, once you've made those three double crochets, I mean, once you've made those two clusters there, go right into that next chain one space and make three double crochets. And then chain one, just like you did on the other side. You started with a ch uh, chain four. And now make another double crochet in that same space. And this is going to keep the bottom portion straight um, and keep it from curving in. So that's why you put that there. So now you should have one cluster on one side, one cluster on the other side, and two clusters in the middle. So now go ahead and chain four again and turn your work. And now basically all you really do is just continue repeating those steps. So go right into that chain one space you made at the end. After you make your four chains and make three double crochets and chain one. Go right into the next space and do the same thing which is three double crochets. That is your granny square cluster, your granny stitch cluster. And just chain one. And right back into that middle space. In that middle space, you will make three double crochets. Chain two. And then make another three double crochets. Chain two. 
Now just continue going and you just keep making this and going back and forth and back and forth with what you want and however big you want it to be. Normally when I make my shawls, I don't really make that pointy section too pointy. I don't really like for it to be pointy like that. It looks kind of weird. So that is why I only chain two. Um, normally some will chain three, but that gives you too much of a peak for me. Um, and as I said, that peak part is the portion that will be at the bottom of your uh, project. Um, the line at the bottom of this of your triangle is where the top portion is that's where your neck goes so this is what it would look like as you go back and forth and you just make it as big as you want to in a moment I'm going to show you what I'm working with already I have a swatch that I've already started but I just want to show you how to do a couple more rows or I think I might have just done one more row for you just to make sure that we got it straight so chain four and turn your work and go right back into that stitch with three double crochets. Remember that chain four counts as a double crochet chain one. And just follow your pattern along. Go into each of those spaces with three double crochets. <clears throat> and the best way to know that you're doing it correctly is on each end you should have four double crochets. And in between you should have three with the exception of your point. So when you get to your middle section, of course, you would make two clusters of your granny square stitch. So go right into that middle section with three double crochets. And then chain two once you make your last double crochet. And then go back in with another three double crochets. And as I said, if you want that point to be uh, even pointier, whatever that means, <laughs> you can add three chains instead of two. But I don't really like that point too much, so I'd rather just do two double crochets and um, two chains in there. So now I'm almost to the end of the swatch here. I'm making my last two double crochets here in this section. And then once I do that, I'm going to chain one. And go right into that chain one space with three double crochets. And chain one. And go back into that stitch one more time. So that is what she should look like as you're making your way around. Those ends should not curl in. So that is why you make that um, chain one at the end and you have your four chains in the beginning. So this is what I'm working on right now. It's a nice big triangle and you make yours as big as you want. You can even make this for a baby or a toddler. Of course, you stop at a certain point. Um, it's very versatile so you can make it as big as you want to. So that's going to be the end of our tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tie Crochet. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.